Hello, welcome to this short strength sequence. For this sequence, you are going to want a blank space of wall to work with. And our first exercise is wall squats. So you're going to put your back against the wall and walk your feet out a little ways, hip distance apart. And then you're going to slide your back down the wall into a position like you're sitting in a chair. Keeping your knees tracking straight forward, roughly over your second and third toes. And we're holding this for about 10 seconds and sliding back up. And then we're gonna slide back in. We're going to be doing this for one minute. This wall squat is strengthening your quadriceps and sliding back up and sliding back down. Oftentimes, weak quadriceps are attributed to knee pain. So this is going to help you prevent some knee pain while you are running and sliding back up and sliding your your torso back down the shoulders are pressing against the wall your head is resting against the wall and coming back up and great job our next exercise is the scapula wall row you're keeping your back against the wall but walking your feet in a little bit closer you're bending your elbows elbows will rest against the wall and then you're going to drive your body away pressing your elbows against the wall so your elbows are sliding up the wall and pressing into the wall as you press your hips and your body away now as you're pressing away you're squeezing your shoulder blade muscles together so really feel those shoulder blade muscles work and integrate towards each other on the back as you press your hips away. Beautiful. This is strengthening your upper back muscles, especially those surrounding your scapula, commonly known as the shoulder blades. This is really great for your posture, and it's going to be really great for your running form as well. Great job continuing to press those elbows into the wall as you press your hips and your body away, importantly, really squeezing those shoulder blades together. Great job. Great job. Our next exercise is the wall push-up variation. So you're going to place your hands against the wall and then you're going to turn your fingers towards each other. And then as you dip your chest towards your hands, your elbows will bend out to the side. And we're doing this nice push up. The rest of your body is one long strong line as you dip forward in your push up and then press away, strengthening the pecs. If you want more of a challenge, you'll just walk your feet further away from the wall, keeping that body in a strong line. The core is strong, the glutes are strong as you dip your chest towards your hands and press your body away. Elbows bending out to the sides. We're here for one minute. Nice and slow motion. I would much rather you have 10 really strong push-ups then rushing through 30 push-ups with not so great form. Our next exercise is the single leg bent knee heel raise. You're going to stay facing the wall. You're placing your hands on the wall, not putting any weight into the hands really, just there for support. You're bending both knees and then you're going to lift one leg up and keeping the standing leg bent, you're going to rise up onto your heel. We're doing 10 on each side. So keeping that standing leg bent, you're rising up onto your tippy toes or on the ball of your foot rather, and slowly lowering back down. And switching sides, you're going to lift the opposite knee, bend your standing knee, keep that knee bent as you rise onto the ball of your standing foot. And we're doing this 10 times. This is strengthening your calf muscle, your Achilles tendon, and your soleus muscle. The soleus muscle is a muscle that is underneath your calf, and it is really important for shock absorption during running, so this is going to help support all of your joints. Nice and slow, the wall is there for support for you. 
and placing both feet on the ground. Okay, you are done with today's strength work. Awesome job.